So our topic now is external and internal criticism. Again, this is in line with the primary and secondary source. So what is external criticism? External criticism, when you say external, the physical um, physical data, you know, what you see. So external criticism refers to the authenticity or genuineness of the document also called the lower criticism so like for example um, there is the autopsy report that's been uh, scattered you've got one copy external criticism uh, you would um, criticize if is this an authentic document or or this was just um, made by someone who wants to play around right so if this is really is signed by the the right person, the authority. So external criticism, you criticize to check if the document is authentic or genuine. It's also, again, it's also called lowered criticism. And then once a document has been determined to be genuine, say, okay, this is genuine, this is authentic, then you or the researchers need to determine if the, con the content is accurate or reliable. So you read what is being written on the document to see if it's accurate or reliable. And that is internal criticism or higher criticism since it deals with more important matter than external form. So it, again, external criticism, you ask, the primary doc to have the primary document, so you ask if this is if is this authentic, who was the real author, when was this written, where was it written, why did it survive? So those are the questions that we have to ask for external criticism. So in here, science it applies science to a document. It involves physical and technical tests. Say, for example, dating of paper a document is written on. So, example, if we research on the life and work, the life of Jose Rizal, one example of primary source is his diary. So, for us to know if the, if the document is authentic, we have to check for the paper, the date of the paper. So, it involves a knowledge of when certain things existed or where possible. So internal criticism, so these are the things that you have to question about the primary document. The eyewitnesses, or is this a secondhand account? Why was it written? Well, what is the literal meaning of the document? What is the internal, is there internal consistency? What are the connotations? What is the meaning in context? So it looks within the data itself to try to determine the truth. So the facts and reasonable interpretation of the document. It includes looking at the apparent or possible motives of the person providing the data. Okay, so that is internal and external criticism.